Hello everybody, my name is Jordan Stern. Um, I'm gonna be walking through you through the Sinjin offices today to show you uh, the products we've developed and some of the vehicles that we've made autonomous. Um, I'm a senior business manager here. The majority of my job is really about finding out what customers need, um, their use cases, and then making sure we build our products to those specifications and that we're successfully deploying our autonomous vehicles. In fact, you're gonna see one of them drive through here in a second. Um, this is one of our Columbia uh, stock chasers that we've made autonomous um, as our, you know, working with our vehicle partner. We're gonna come back to this in a second. Um, I'm gonna show you how you interact with the vehicle itself in different ways, but right now we're gonna head into the control center so I can show you a little bit about how Sinjin Insight works, which is one of our other products. Um, so we're here in our control center. Um, this can be used in a lot of different ways. So if you're thinking about a more complex environment or maybe one that's a little bit more rugged, say in construction or mining, um, this is actually something that can be picked up and dropped at that location. Uh, we can help you get connectivity and you can really have a full service space to manage your vehicle fleets and make sure everything is done safely. Um, if you take that indoors to more material handling use cases and distribution and logistics, um, not all of this is needed. You can do this with a desktop or on a tablet. Um, but we're going to show you the different components of Sinjin Insight as they are today. Um, so we're going to start here and it's really the basis of Sinjin Insight as a project, uh, as a product, which is um, our data analytics and data pipeline. So if you see on the top left here, you can view uh, data and the analysis of that data around how the autonomous system is operating. You can view about how your, uh, your workforce or your operations are operating as well, and really understand the performance of not only the autonomous system, but the tasks that you're trying to do, your productivity. Um, as we move here a little bit to the right, you can see live streams from the vehicle fleet out there. So if you're doing some monitoring, you wanna make sure everything's being done safely, you can see live stream video from that vehicle, from the control center. And what's really down here on the left is the heart of, of our drive mod product, which is the autonomous system product. Um, you can see here, this is what we call cinema view. Um, and this is really a digital representation of the physical world. And it's the physical world that the vehicle is seeing in real time. Um, so you can see here different layers uh, of our perception system, whether it's picking up and classifying individuals as humans, which you can see in these boxes, predicting their path or using our existence-based detection system to pick up objects that we know we need to avoid or stop for. So we're gonna show you a little bit about how we interact with vehicles when they're doing their tasks and on route. And as a layout, one of our product managers is gonna help me. So there's a couple different things that we can customize here. Our vehicles are, are set up on what we call a train route or what a lot of customers would think about as the same route loop over and over again with pre-programmed stops. Um, that's how we test our vehicles with new versions of our software. Um, but that route can be expanded to be more complex. You can have multiple stops. Right now we have two set up. Um, uh, eventually in the future, you can go from random A to random B and you can really operate within that entire operational design domain. But it really is dependent on what the customer desires and that can be customized. So right now on our train stop, we have two stops set up. We're at segment one or stop one right now. Uh, we have the system programmed to stop for 30 seconds. But you can imagine if you're in a logistics or manufacturing scenario where you might need more time, you can go ahead and add more time to that system, which is, as Alea is gonna do right now. By adding time, you buy yourself more, uh, more time to run across the facility, grab a different box, or finish the task that you're doing at hand. Uh, but what's also great is if for some reason you finish early, you can also send that vehicle off whenever you want. So I have Azalea do that for you too. And now we're also able to operate multiple vehicles at one time. You'll see one of our other autonomous vehicles pulling up here to the same stop, um, which allows the vehicles to stay coordinated and perform similar tasks. So if you follow me here, Azalea is gonna send this one off too. We'll walk you into the rest of our facility and talk a little bit about the customization of these routes and um, the environments that these vehicles can operate in. So right now we're in our offices, but you know we, just, we define these environments where the vehicles operate as the operational design domain or the ODD. Um, ours is obviously the office, but for our customers, it can be wherever they're doing business, and whether it's in a logistics facility, outside of, at a construction site, wherever it may be. Um, these routes you see here of how we have defined where the vehicles can drive in our ODD, but they are customizable for the customer. Um, whether you want the vehicle to have more freedom, uh, allow it to drive around objects, or you want it to be in a confined space where it has very strict rules, we're able to build these vehicles and the operations to those specifications. Um, which really allows us to adapt to what our customers need. And it also allows our customers to engage with autonomous vehicles 
where, wherever they're ready to and, and, and at the level that they're ready to. So whether you're looking for a more basic implementation of a stop and go route, like, like we've demonstrated for you here, or if you're looking for something that's more advanced, like a random A to random B uh, type of operation, where the vehicles really have some freedom, our systems are built uh, to be able to satisfy all those needs. So I really enjoyed talking with you today. Again, my name's Jordan. Uh, this is the Sinjin office. I, I hope you had a great time. And we're really looking forward to hearing from you and hopefully working with uh, a lot of you in the future. Um, and with that, I'll send you off and we'll say goodbye to our, our vehicles.